<laughs> Say it ain't so, is Nvidia finally giving up on gamers? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by PowerColor and their RX 7000 series GPUs. Not only are they ripping and tearing through games, but now more than ever, they're doing so with style. With swappable backplates to liven up your build, PowerColor GPUs will add that unique flair to make sure your PC stands out. Plus, with high quality PCBs and cooling solutions, your GPU won't break a sweat during long gaming sessions. So if you're in the market for a menacing new graphics card upgrade, be sure to check out PowerColor linked in the description below. So the RX 7800 XT is about to launch guys, and if the leaks and rumors are to be believed, it's gonna be an absolute bloodbath when it comes to AMD versus Nvidia. Now, what do I mean? Well, at a price of $500 for the 7800 XT and $450 for the 7700 XT, yeah, you compare that to what Nvidia is offering and it's looking like AMD is gonna absolutely make a fool of Nvidia with these two specific GPUs. Now, when they originally launched the 7900 XT and XTX, I felt like those GPUs were a little bit overpriced, especially the 7900 XT, but those have come down in price price quite a bit as well, so it definitely seems like AMD is getting a lot more competitive, kind of out of nowhere, because it feels like they've really not been that competitive for a while, at least in my opinion. It seems like they're kind of just slotting in at the price that Nvidia was setting and not even trying to compete. Well, things are definitely different now, and the 7800 XT specifically is going to absolutely dunk on the 4060 Ti and RTX 4070, at least in my opinion at its MSRP, assuming that you can get it for that. And I think Nvidia knows this as well, because the first thing I wanna talk about today, guys, is Nvidia's actually dropping prices on some of their GPUs. Now, so far it seems to more specifically be the RTX 4060 Ti. However, we have seen other cards get some discounts, such as the RTX 4080. I think I saw it as low as like $1,000, but that's still just way too high. However, the RTX 4060 Ti, at least according to a videocards.com article, might have just gotten a huge drop in price. Now, according to the article, they show a number of cards on screen. It looks like a price drop is official at this point. 450 should be the average price that you can find a decent 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti at. Now, however, they did list one model, guys, at around $430, and that is a pretty massive drop from the $500 they're trying to sell them at. Now, I think all of us are aware at this point, or at least the majority, that $500 for a 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti was an absolute ripoff. So is $430 good for the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte? And I'm gonna say absolutely not. $430 is still too much, and I still think it's gonna get absolutely clowned on by the 7700 XT. So I realistically think the max price for a 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti should be $400. I mean, the 3060 Ti was $400, and sure, that had half the VRAM, but the 4060 Ti ain't too much better than the 3060 Ti. So sure, it's nice to have more video memory, but if that's really all you're offering other than a pittance of a performance increase, yeah, Nvidia, you can keep that. But there is one more thing I wanna talk to you guys about today, and it has to do with Nvidia possibly kinda not caring about GeForce as much anymore, at least allegedly, according to some information that was posted over on the website Hardware Times, which he apparently originally got it from the YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about this YouTuber, so take this with a grain of salt, but according to him, it could be bad news for the NVIDIA GeForce department. And according to the article, here's what they had to say about it. Quote, as per sources close to the YouTuber, NVIDIA has been gradually reducing its budget for gaming software teams in favor of data center and AI related hiring. Consequently, the number of day zero driver releases has dropped, leading to Starfield like scenarios. This isn't surprising with the kind of attention AI and GP GPUs are getting. So yeah, this is definitely concerning guys because GeForce is known as like the number one brand on PC when it comes to gaming graphics. And if Nvidia starts kinda, you know, not caring about GeForce as much as it used to, you could see more and more games coming out where maybe AMD does end up having a lead, even if they maybe shouldn't have that lead. I mean, sure, the 7900 XTX is a powerful card, don't get me wrong, but when it's beating the RTX 4090, well, on paper, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Now, if it was heavily, heavily overclocked, sure, I could see that being the case as the RTX 4090 and 7900 XTX, when you give it a lot of power and a lot of clock speed, they are very, very close cards. But stock versus stock, that shouldn't be the case. The 4090 is definitely a faster card. So the only thing that makes sense to me is that the team that worked on Starfield 
perhaps didn't spend as much time optimizing for Nvidia GPUs and rather took the easier route to optimize for AMD GPUs. And yes, I said easier route because well, AMD is in the consoles and Nvidia really isn't. I mean, unless you count the Nintendo Switch, but realistically most ports start with the main two consoles, the Xbox and the PlayStation. So if they're starting over there, yeah, they're probably going to be more AMD centric to begin with as those are purely AMD machines. So we could be seeing a case here, guys, where in the future, more and more games start to run a little bit better on AMD hardware if Nvidia continues to allegedly, again, this is alleged, we don't know for sure, but if they do continue to allegedly neglect their GeForce team in favor of AI. And honestly, guys, to give my opinion on this, could this be true? Absolutely, I do believe this could possibly be true. Of course, we won't know for sure anytime soon unless Nvidia comes out and confirms or denies anything, but to me, it would make a lot of sense. I've been having more and more trouble with Nvidia GPUs as of late than I ever have in the past when it comes to drivers and many other things surrounding Nvidia, and I've been having a really hard time getting them to help me with stuff as well. I'll submit tickets, I'll talk to people in their marketing, and they'll basically just tell me stuff like, essentially and i'm paraphrasing here but kind of like it is what it is like yeah that's a problem we're not going to fix it essentially which is totally unacceptable in my opinion and that's really unfortunate that things are starting to become like that so maybe there is a case here to be said that nvidia possibly isn't putting as many resources into geforce as they previously were or maybe their driver team or something like that because it definitely seems like to me i'm just getting a feeling but that definitely could be the case. Again, whether or not it is, we'll have to wait and see. But if that's true and Nvidia is kind of neglecting their GeForce team, we could be seeing more instances of poorly performing games and more instances of, God forbid, display stream compression issues, not fixing problems with their drivers, more display compatibility issues. I mean, heck, the 57 inch Neo G9 just came out. A lot of people have been very excited about that monitor. And apparently from what people are saying on Reddit, I don't have it in hand, can't say for sure, but allegedly, it's only running up to 120 hertz on NVIDIA GPUs because of a driver problem, and they're going to have to fix it. God knows if they will, whereas on AMD, it's running at 240 hertz. So there's just a ton of stuff going on here. This is very shocking to hear, but at the same time, kind of makes sense. Hopefully, NVIDIA gets their stuff together when it comes to GeForce, or they could quickly start to lose some ground to AMD as well as Intel. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that Nvidia is actually neglecting their GeForce team and things are gonna get worse for Nvidia? Or do you think this is all just completely made up rumors? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia release new GPUs. Also, if you wanna see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.